Good morning uh, guys. Uh, today we will be uh, discussing some variations on uh, beam analysis uh, which will focus mainly on uh, two different uh, kinds of beams which are very popular. No? Uh, and they are most commonly used uh, types of beams although uh, the analysis of other beams like uh, u-shape i-shape uh, triangular shape and almost all kinds of shapes uh, doesn't uh, uh, hinder you to to uh, do the same uh, procedure uh, for as long as you don't deviate from the general concept of uh, single reinforced uh, beams and uh, double reinforced beams so I think uh, there will be no problem in the analysis but let's have here a situation where in originally a rectangular beam is not enough to to serve the intention of uh, resisting uh, the loads applied to it so the first thing we have to to take note of is how to to uh, uh, add more strength without uh, really uh, reducing the ductility of your section so the first thing uh, you would uh, probably uh, do if you want to increase the moment capacity of a beam section is to uh, increase the dimensions like the H and the B of your beam no? but uh, basically uh, and architecturally uh, we are limited to, to a certain extent on the value of uh, H and uh, B that we will be using uh, because uh, we all know that uh, the configuration of a, of a structure is uh, bounded by some proportions so we can only think of uh, changing the shape of the beam without uh, adding cost to it and this is the reason why a t-beam is very efficient since uh, your t-section actually gets uh, your shape from the beam itself which is given by the width of the web here and the height h plus a portion of the slab so uh, this part here which is normally called the the flange is actually a portion of the slab to which uh, uh, the, the floor system is attached okay so um, we are actually using the slab to give advantage to the beam section so as to increase uh, your uh, your uh, compression requirement okay so this flange actually increases uh, your flexural requirement so let's uh, okay place it here now. so this flange here actually which is a part of the slab floor increases no? so it increases your compression strength but because uh, these fibers here for a positive bending case is in compression 
So the larger the area of the fibers above the neutral axis will actually mean a large compressive uh, strength. And this is also true with the with the DBR or the DRB analysis. So this is now the double reinforce uh, beam. Okay. We're in the added compression requirement is actually taken from the additional steel. And perhaps uh, if we will compare the two, they are actually both very good in adding compression, but uh, we all know for a fact that uh, that uh, steel is uh, costlier than concrete, maybe. So sometimes we have to choose from what particular uh, uh, um, shall I say, what particular aspect in design are we going to use? Are we going to use the T-beam design or the doubler in force beam design? Okay, so uh, uh, today we will be t tackling uh, two problems comparing uh, the analysis and perhaps uh, uh, we can uh, draw from it uh, some, some uh, uh, conclusions as to whether or uh, which of the two or, or which among, uh, which between the two are is actually advantages when it comes to strength, ductility, and economy. Of course, the economic side of it, uh, some a lot of uh, factors to consider. Um, but uh, the reason why I I presented to you these two types of beam is because the procedure is very much the same. So in a T-beam analysis, what we are going to do is to uh, separate your, your uh, uh, T-section, okay, uh, by simply looking at a, at a rectangular beam plus an overhanging flange okay so this is now the the overhanging flange of course there's an equivalent steel here uh, brought about by the equilibrium requirement you call it an AS1 and also here you have a, a, a steel intention AS2 brought about by equilibrium requirement Okay. So you can also cut the beam into, into two sections by uh, making a dividing line here at the bottom of the flange. But uh, this is uh, a much more difficult analysis. If we, if we will cut the beam here, uh, your, your compression of fiber will no longer be attached to this reference. Okay. So it's better to have one reference uh, uh, line for your summation of moment to be simpler. Okay, so if we take a, a, a summation of moment on this section, so you will notice that this fiber here will have the same reference line here such that the moment arm of this, as far as the compression side is concerned, is simply given by this, okay, which is simply a over 2, okay, so this is your a, the depth of the stress block, and uh, this is simply the thickness of the flange, tf over 2.
okay so we are actually referring to the a centroid so that is the centroid okay which is one half of your flange thickness so you can divide it the way you want to but uh, this is a much more simple division rather than the the one the other one okay so it's true with the uh, your drb we're in your section is divided again by uh, uh, two beams which is the first one is a rectangular beam okay with an area the same uh, not the same but uh, uh, similar as1 and then of course your centroid again is defined on the compression flange uh, sorry the compression block a which is a over 2 and then your your uh, uh, reinforcement will know will now be uh, simply referred again to the same axis uh, which is the fiber okay this fiber and then this becomes your uh, d double prime okay of course this will be balanced by an as2 here okay so uh, this is now the the similarity i'm now discussing to you the similarity between a T beam and a DRB, and the choice of uh, using one from the other will depend on, of course, which is more economical and which is more ductile or which is more stronger given the same dimensions. Okay, so in our, our next video, I will show you how to analyze these two. And at the same time, uh, make some commentaries or uh, uh, conclusions from the, the values we will be uh, obtaining. Perhaps, of course, uh, in terms of uh, strength, ductility, and probably... Uh, economy okay so i'll be uh, discussing more of this uh, on the next video thank you